Hey guys, so um, just before I start this video, I would like to point any of you interested in model railways to the Hornby website. Um, you just go into downloads and you go into calendar wallpapers, and down the as you scroll down the web page, there's uh, they've got all these different desktops, and this is January, February, March. What is it? April. And a lovely photo of um, rebuilt West Country Manston. Um, and if I minimise Google Chrome, you will see the locomotive on the screen. Now you can choose what, um, uh, like what size and all that you want. But I thought that's very nice, and uh, the image is very crisp. And uh, yeah, so I thought I might want to show you. Anyway, so uh, let's get onto the video. Right, so, here is a Bachmann 5 plank. Now, I've reviewed this uh, a few months ago after I bought it late last year. And, um, ooh, rock around a bit. Um, so, you can go check out that video. I may put it in the description or else it's quite, it's not far down when you scroll down my videos. But, the real question is, does it compare to a Hornby 5 plank? Now, you may be thinking, well, of course, Tommy, it does, because Bachmann are far superior to Hornby in many ways. But this has its advantages. And look, there's me. So there's another advantage. No, I'm joking. That was not a very good joke. Anyway, so um, I haven't unboxed this Hornby one on camera yet, so I thought I may do that. I've had this for a couple of years. Um, I bought it over at the Middleton Model Railway as with... Um, the weathered 13-ton uh, high bar wagon, which you will see later, well, earlier on in the channel. But, yeah, I bought it over at Middleton Model Railway, a bargain price of $8.40, which is about £4. Um, and, yeah, I had to have it. My um, When I was there with my granddad, he was actually interested in buying it, so I sort of pinched it. But, hey-ho. At least it's got a home. So yeah, as we unbox this wagon, it's just the standard old Hornby wagon packaging. And you are greeted with Stevens and Company um, a, a five plank wagon. <laughs> so we'll take it out of the box. It's just got the uh, plasticky tray, which I shall remove from Lee Shot. And we will take a look at it. So the obvious like thing is that couplings <laughs> and the mouldings are slightly different but I'll go into that later on but we'll just take a look at this because it is a lovely I mean the actual body and the detailing on it is nice it's just the basic flaws like the couplings and um and yeah but so let's look at the underframe the underframe is actually very nice um not much painted detail Oh, excuse me. Not much painted detail, although, um, you know, it, it, does not, it doesn't need to be all painted in high-vis yellow, does it? So, it's alright. And then you've got some very nice detail on the sole bar, including the, um, the builder's plates, uh, which even I can't read. Uh, it's very, very fine detail. And you've got the brake there. Um... And then you've got these, uh, we can move on to the end. Uh, you've got very basic detail, and this is kind of lets it down as the this, uh, the buffers. Look at the huge mould line through the buffers. Mm, it's not great. And I actually probably will end up filing that down um, just because I'm picky when it comes to things like that. Um, and as I've mentioned before, the couplings are humongous. <laughs> um... And then you've got a rather plasticky looking hook. And uh, if I can actually get the thing in shot, there is a slight line down the end of the sole bar, which is um, obviously a mould line of where they've actually manufactured the wagon. Uh, the livery application is actually not bad. Compared to Bachmann, it's good, but Bachmann's crispness, let's say, of of the livery application is uh, quite, it shows. 
Um, so that's pretty much the wagon. I mean, yeah, as I said, the livery is very, very nice. Um, and it has metal wheels, which run very smoothly on the layout. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a nice wagon, but there are a few things letting it down. And all of you will probably go for Barkman. I mean, who wouldn't, to be honest? But, um, yeah. So, I... <laughs> lol. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, what do you think? In fact, the Barkman one is slightly longer. I've never noticed that. Hmm. The, the Barkman one looks more to scale, if I'm being honest. And, uh, go for interiors. They've both got the wood effect on the interior, which is nice. Um, but as I keep saying, the main difference, look at the coupling sizes. And look how much the hook on the Hornby one sticks out. That is just ridiculous, I'm sorry. And, they go underneath. Button one has a name, and the Hornby one has some screw thing. Uh, but yeah, they've both got metal wheels as well. But yeah, the the advantage with the Barton one is you can put a KD or like even your own coupling in there. Um, a KD or a Rocco type coupling. Um, but yeah. Um, they actually, they run very nicely. Oh, together actually. I move this box. Um, and tilt the camera slightly. Uh, they, they don't run too badly, of course, uh, it's running on wood, so it reverberates the sound a bit, but it's not bad. So yes, in all honesty, which one would I go for? Which one would I go for? Well, to be honest, the Barkman one. It's just far superior, and to be honest, I feel like this video is pointless because everyone knows the Barkman one is better. Although the Hornby one has its advantages. Um, you know, the good, the big couplings are good for smaller children, um, and you know, I mean, it's a, not a bad wagon for. I think the tooling actually is quite old, so, I mean, it's not bad for its age, um, but, yeah, Bachman all the way, uh, to be honest, it's just great, it really is, uh, so, that's all I'm going to say, Bachman. uh, so, yeah, I am going to end the video here, uh, as of now, it is Thursday before Good Friday, uh, so there, and is uh, subsequently the beginning of my holidays, um, so therefore I will be putting out a few videos this holidays. I have a bit of schoolwork to do, but not as much as I thought, to be honest. Um, but, you know, I would like to wish you all a happy Easter, hope you get all the chocolate and all that, and all that jargon. Uh, no, chocolate's good, I like chocolate. Um, but, you know, yeah, I hope you do have a good Easter. You know, spend it with your family and your friends and just have a good time. Um, and I will be uploading videos for the next couple of weeks while I'm on holiday. Yes, I am on holiday. I had to think about that. Oh, that's a worry. Um, but, yeah, so, as always, guys, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Like me on Facebook as Cruisley Road Model Railway. And, as always... See you later.